So if you're new to Incubating Eggs, hopefully this sixth and final short clip of six about our mini advanced incubator will give you the information you need about when to candle and what to do at hatching. So let's assume that our mini advance has been operating at temperature as it should uh, for a number of days. On day 11, we want to candle the eggs uh, to check that we have viable embryos. And to candle the eggs, what we need is a little candler like this, which is kind of a bit like a torch. Uh, this one is called uh, an overview candler. And the way we use it is we take an egg out of the incubator, we turn the candler on, we take this little piece of kit, which is called an, an overscope, it's effectively a kind of special kind of container that goes over the candler. Um, it magnifies also the image. We place the egg pointy side upwards to start with, but we may want to rotate it around. And then we place the cover over here. We can then rotate the egg with a little disc on the bottom of here as we look through it to check whether the egg is viable or not. Remember, we've still got access to the um, switch to turn it on and off here. OK, so what we should see at day 11 is the beginnings of um, a black mass here as the embryo develops and subsequently that black mass uh, becoming more dense, more visible. We should also probably begin to see a heartbeat at this stage. If we believe our egg is not viable, we can remove them from the incubator. But let's assume this egg is viable. So we'll put it back into the incubator for the minute and remove this to one side. on properly there we go at the end of day 19 you need to stop the eggs from turning now on this machine if auto stop is selected then the machine will automatically stop turning two days from hatch if it isn't automatically selected you need to go into the menu and you need to stop the turning When the turning is stopped, you need it before going into those final two days to remove the egg disc because you don't want the egg disc still in there. Uh, you don't want the chicks tripping over or catching themselves on that disc after they hatch. I've got here another base, which is always very useful uh, to have when you transfer in the eggs. Um, with a piece of kitchen roll, it could be a piece of J-cloth, which is cut so that that fits over the central reservoir, like this. It kind of removes some of the, the muck that will collect, but it also creates a, a comfortable um, surface for the chicks to stand up on. So we remove the disc, we put a comfortable surface for the chicks to stand up on, and we place our eggs in here without a disc. We also, as we go into the final two days of hatch, want to make sure that our second central reservoir is topped up with water. Our first one has been topped up, but now two days before hatch, we top up our second reservoir. Then back on goes the lid. And now we leave that and we don't want to check we want to check as little as, as possible because we want the humidity to come up every time we open that lid to see what's going on we're allowing the humidity to disperse so we don't want a lid to lift the lid to inspect less than every six hours so that, that humidity is maintained 
The other thing we need to make sure of is that in here, that central pot, that central reservoir is covered with a little pot cover. So that pot cover needs to go in there so that as the chicks hatch, they don't go and stick their heads into that central water reservoir and drown. There we go. So there we are. And now we can, once they start hatching, we can leave the eggs in the incubator for one to two days before transferring them under a brooder like the Glow 20. They don't need food during those first two days after they've hatched. Um, so you can leave them in there as the others hatch as well. And then after two days, you can then transfer them under something like this. This is called an electric hen or a brooder. And this, when it's plugged in, generates the kind of heat for the chicks to keep warm once they're transferred out of this. After two days in here, you can also then start to make chick crumb available to them. And that's it for this final clip of six.